We produce this report because there are many things written about global health, but they tend to be on aspects of global health. So this was an opportunity to look over the last decade at what had been achieved overall in global health. And we certainly saw uh, some major improvements in the diseases that kill people, reductions in HIV AIDS, reductions in mortality from malaria, tuberculosis, falls in maternal mortality, and reduction in deaths in the under fives. So major changes in that respect. Uh, but beyond that, uh, many important things done to improve the health and lives of people around the world. Looking at global health, I think there are three important dimensions. Firstly, are people getting healthier? Are they living longer? Are they dying less often? Are they suffering from fewer diseases? So are they getting healthier? Secondly, is the world of health fairer? We know that some of the worst problems are concentrated in the poorest parts of the world. But are those differences in health between richer and poorer getting better? They need to be tackled and tackled with great force and commitment. So fairer is the second dimension. And then governments across the world, ministers of health, have a first responsibility of keeping their populations safe from all the threats to health, the infectious diseases, the elements of health care that can cause harm. Is the world getting safer in health terms? Healthier, fairer, safer. The work of global health doesn't take place in a vacuum. Uh, there are many forces outside health that impact on health and those who are undertaking global health work like the World Health Organization have to combat those. So there are really big picture things in the last decade. Climate change precipitating uh, severe weather events and affecting health in other ways. A global financial crisis that's affected the economies of countries the uh, mass migration of people as a result of conflict in different parts of the world. All of those things come together, I think, to create uh, a backdrop to global health, and most of them come from outside the health arena. Well, I think one of the major achievements of WHO over the last uh, 10 years, working with others, is to shape the future. And there have been some major policies which have been very important from that point of view. Trying to create a population around the world that ages healthily. Setting a goal of universal health coverage. Setting out uh, a set of policies to ensure that health services around the world give priority to reducing the social and economic determinants of health. And producing a new modern approach to valuing and supporting people with disability in communities around the world. Now, that's largely hidden work of the WHO. It doesn't see uh, the light of day in the way that some of the crises that WHO uh, deals with and hit the media. But those policies are fundamental and foundational for uh, building a healthy future and they're absolutely vital work and very important achievements of the WHO over the last decade.